and welcome to your pick a card series um, so we have three groups here this is going to be a three card uh, reading with um, overall energy focus on your past present and future please note that um, energy is fluid not linear so you could have messages in different piles um, and always just pick up what resonates with you um, take what resonates and what doesn't. So we're gonna start with the first one. We've got group number one, which is, we have this wonderful opalite. Then group number two, we've got amethyst. And group number three, you've got selenite. Okay, let's start off with group number one. Hi, number ones. So if you picked this opalite, this is your group. Um, this is one of my favorite um, stones at the moment, opalite. So let's check over here. So we've got the Ace of Swords reversed. We've got the Nine of Pentacles and we've got Justice upright and your overall energy is um, the world okay so the ace of swords in reverse um, refers to inner clarity rethinking an idea clouded judgment so um, this is your past energy um, this could be an idea that you were working on um, um, hasn't come into fruition or you aren't really to tell anybody anything or it could be a mental block in terms of your clouded judgment um but let's see the other cards to see um what resonates and what doesn't so we've got next okay so that uh next we've got the nine of pentacles and this is a really good card especially um with alongside this ace of swords is your present energy is very much an abundant energy and the nine of pentacles is basically confirming abundance fruition and the nine is always an end of a cycle so the one thing with to do with these past, present, and future is that some of these energies can cross over. So this very much goes into independent self-dependence. So especially if you're working on a project and you could be in a space where now you, your project's actually coming into fruition um, or the fact that if you're still in this type of energy is maybe just get yourself into this situation where you make more of a plan to get to this nine of pentacles uh, stage um and have you set up the right objective smart objectives for yourself um yeah so let's look at your future which is justice justice has got to do with um the scales here balance Okay, so the Justice card is usually a, represents law um, and justice, obviously, but truth. Um, but in terms of this energy that I'm picking up is you could potentially be, because of this success, especially with this having this new idea this is this is uh, ace is usually the beginning is something small okay like like the page energy the small ace is like the beginning the start of a project um the nine is usually towards the end of the deck which is about 10 is the last suit before you get the 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 next three um and i feel like maybe you're in a position where you 
are getting the abundance that you need for this project um, and it's going well and you're getting consistent, but now you're thinking of investing for a long-term goal. And this is just a warning, not a warning because that's a really bad connotation, but this is just a reminder to be um, make sure that you're in line with your higher self and you're making a conscious decision if you want to invest in the future or not. When I did a meditation, or well, when I, before I decided to unreal this group, I just closed my eyes for a second to see if there's anything that's coming up in my intuition. And encouragement and fear is what came up. And this could be something that is of significance or not. But first a bag came up. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, and then encouragement and then um, um, fear. So I feel like maybe you're fearful for taking this next step or maybe you're fearful that your project will get into um, into alignment. Um, but the most important is that you need to make sure that you're taking, you're believing in yourself and encouraging yourself. So you're coming from a good place and your higher purpose place. But making sure that the fear is not irresponsible okay so making sure you're figuring out that balance so like weighing out the options um before you make your investment i would say um and this could be maybe signing a contract too maybe you want to you know sign out a lease but you're not sure so again it's making sure that you've explored all your options before making that decision so your overall energy here is the will okay so the world has got to do with completion so this is such a good overall energy for so this is very much a um your past present future is very much to do with a project or an idea or something that you've invested in and now you've received abundance for this. And I would say this is more of a um, business independence type of reading. And the world is very much completion or if you haven't yet completed it or got there, it's because you need to still, you're maybe at one of these stages yet. And this is just to reassure you that it's coming to an end, um, like a f the long term investment is going to be completed um which is really really good so i love that energy actually um so i have these sacred self-care um deck that i've just purchased to be honest and i feel like because the energy within this venus in capricorn energy i feel like it's a good time because we've got work and love going on and we just always have to make sure that we're in line with ourselves. So I'm just going to pull some cards, see if there's any, um, some advice for you, for yourself, just to make sure that you keep on track. So group number one, please spirit, please give me, give them some advice of what to do um, right now in order to maintain this completion energy. What is it that they need to do right now? Okay. So group number one, please, Spirit. Can I please have some guidance? Group number one, please, can I have some guidance? Group number one, please, group number one. One. Ooh. Spend some time with animals. Number 48. Breaking down to a 12. Breaking down to a 3, which is abundance. And we've got positive affirmations. And lastly, we've got chanting in reverse. So again, with the, um, oops, I don't know how I've just done that. And the bottom energy is
deep breathing. I don't know how to put this actually. Yeah, they're all fitting. Okay, so um, obviously spending some time with animals, if you've got a dog, a cat, or even going out in nature and you know looking at some animals, they give. Um, or even connecting, I would say, connecting with your spirit animal if you have one. Um, that could be of significance. Um, positive affirmation. So whatever is blocking you in terms of getting through any of these steps, um, if it's your fear that's holding you back, it's more just having positive affirmations to help you. This actually comes with positive affirmations and mantras, which I'm going to read out in a minute. Then we've got chanting. Um this is again really good for clearing out any um, blockages energetically. So, you know, with the chakra, you've got lam, vam, hum, um, and even doing something is a significant of um, buzzing sounds or uh, activating your kundalini. Um, there's a few mantras that you can have or even coming up with your own mantra in times of struggles or fear and deep breathing is again do you know actually when i started this for group one the heart chakra was of significance um my heart started to activate very quickly so just taking a moment just to focus on your um your heart space and holding your chest and really igniting that deep breaths so let's just quickly look at these um these mantras so let's look at number 48 animals guides are present in my life providing protection sharing wisdom pointing me in the right direction and teaching me the ways of unconditional love so the as I said before, the spirit animal guide. So um, maybe just closing your eyes with the deep breaths and asking your higher self to maybe show you a spirit animal and whatever animal that is, is take that into consideration. Um, I think that will be really good. Um, then we've got number 41. I speak to myself with love. And compassion and extend it to all those I meet and this with the justice is also it also represents coming from a compassionate place so I really feel like again I'll say this again I speak to myself with love and compassion and extend it to all those that I meet so bringing that intention into whatever justice um, you want to create for yourself Okay, number eight. My voice is heard. So maybe, oh, this is so crazy. I actually said about the vowels and in the book it says lam, vam, ram, yam, ham, om, om. So again, my voice is heard. So using that throat chakra very much and your kundalini energy. I like that um number 19 so this is the first time i'm using the deck so it's really cool that i'm resonating to these different messages when i stop to take a breath i clear my mind and lead with love and again um the heart chakra that that's what i said um and also if you see on this card she is you see the third eye chakra is resonating out with the different planets i would say use your third eye um to visualize this completion you know use visualization um with deep breath it's deep breath really helps reset the frequency and you can really um take it to the next level believe and all all of this is just as well we've got at the heart, sacred space, third eye, and grounding. Okay, let's look at, um, I've bought these divine nature cards off Etsy. So I just would like to get any last messages for this group. 
Any last messages for group one, please? Spirit, any last messages for group one, please? Spirit, any last messages for group? We got the stars. Any last messages for group one, please? Spirit, any last messages for group one, please? Spirit, any last messages, please? One more, please. One more, please. Okay, I feel like I want to take this one. Okay. So we've got um, the stars. The stars remind me that I am guided and protected. To know that whatever choice you make, it's always in your highest, best self to make it. Or if you, whatever decision you make, you can always learn a lesson from that. Water, I flow with life, I ride the waves. So it's definitely surrendering a little bit here using your gifts to help guide you but surrender too okay number one that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed that pick a card i really enjoyed giving it to you um, um i just want to thank you for taking a moment to um look at this reading and i want to thank your guides and my guides for really helping guide us through this messaging and keeping us safe and yeah, please look at um, my uh, shop links are down below. Any of the decks will also be down below. I've got the everyday tarot card and I've also got this sacred self-care oracle. And yeah, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Hi, number twos. So if you pick this wonderful um, amethyst, this is your group. Okay, so I just, um, sorry for the lighting. Um, my daylight is basically <laughs> non-existent at this stage. Um, but I just picked up words trust, ignite, understand. So that could be of significance in a minute. So let's look at your energy. So for yours, we had two cards come up for your past, which is um, death, scorpionic energy, um, transformation needs to occur, six of swords, Trying to get away from something. Um, and then we've got the seven of pink. Okay, so I do apologize. Um, my camera cut out. But we've got the seven of pentacles, which she looks like she's nurturing her garden. You know, very much so. This is your present. And your future is being handed, you know, a gift or, you know, you're receiving something um and then the overall energy is your ten of cups in reverse so let's look at your past energy this death card and um the six of swords energy both these cards symbolize transition so death is always about an end of a cycle and you're about to begin a new one transition having to evolve change and the six of swords is also so something in your past you really 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 have to go through um whether this was a decision that you decided to do for yourself or whether it's something that kind of happened to you um unfortunately you've had to learn that lesson, you've had to end the cycle. Um, and because both of them showed up together, I feel like it was really, this is something that you, 
if it if it's maybe you're in this energy now you have to find the lessons to be able to move forward into your present or into your future um this could be you know moving house leaving a relationship changing jobs going through a mental change um take whatever resonates but the overall is you have to because they they're swimming they're in a boat but they've you know the swords they're leaving up they're leaving their baggage behind you know what i mean they, they they're ready for a new opportunity because they look quite sad on the boat it's like okay i'm ready to let go of this i'm ready to now have something better come my way and then we come into the seven of pentacles so the seven of pentacles is very much you know as i said before she's nurturing her garden um being very delicate prestige and i feel that this is a reflection on what lessons did you pick up from the cycle okay in order for you to have long-term investment in yourself and whatever choices regarding if this was a transition within a relationship or a workplace or a home environment what lessons did you pick up from this can you now reflect and really make sure that you invest yourself in those lessons you know so if you were in a narcissistic relationship it's more about oh did i need to go through some self-reflections to be able to pick up signs to be able to step forward into another relationship or have i dated myself long enough before going into rushing into a new relationship or if it's a workplace where you weren't happy have you now taken a step back to go okay great what other should i have taken that job because did that actually really fulfill me so at the moment this could be either or um love or workplace or house it depends what resonates um in terms of that so yeah make sure you take the that lessons to really give to yourself then we've got the page of pentacles so this is manifestation financial opportunity skill development and the page of pentacles is very much a symbolism of new beginnings like i said look she's receiving something over here um and this is you know this abundance is coming in but it's page is something new okay it's the beginning um so i would say your future is depending on what situation you um this transformation was in whether it's love relationships yourself um health your your you're very much taken on this lessons it's very much dependent on this lessons for you to be make a new beginning if you haven't learned your lesson then this could be a um this could be a situation that you you will struggle to come out of because your your new beginning awaits it's just up to you to learn your lessons and the ten of cups is very much um you know upright it's all got to do with family and you know all areas of your life is full the 10 you know all your cups are full you're very happy in that state um like everything's in alignment blissful um harmony divine love but reverse this is disconnected misaligned values struggling relationships so in terms of this especially with the the this transformation especially this energy over here i feel like the 10 of cups it's really just a war uh uh i need to find another word i keep coming back to this word that i don't like um is a 
opportunity for you to really make sure that whatever you seek in love and relationships, you are clearly defined. So instead of constantly, so I feel like this is a cycle, okay? Now this is a card showing you that you are likely to get back in the cycle if you do not take your time with the Seven of Pentacles energy, okay? What do you want from love? What do you want from work? And it's very much this Venus in Capricorn energy that is coming up at the moment. Um, and you have all the tools you need to have your new beginnings in work, love, and everything that you deserve, but you're blocking yourself. You're mentally blocking yourself. You're not connected to your divine self. And you really need to make sure that you take that time. And yeah, let's, I really want to pull some of these energy. So this is the, the sacred self care energy. And I really, I really can't wait for you to have some good self-care and just you know I almost want to give you a hug like it's okay and we have these lessons you know from divine spirit to help guide us in every possible way can I please get some advice for group two please spirit what advice do they need for this transformation and to break the cycle when the seven of pentacles energy do you have any advice please spirit for group two. So we've got Sing. What, um, there's again number nine, end of a cycle. What messages do you have for group two, please? Ooh. Yeah, bold strength. Definitely. Maybe this, because this transformation energy could have really brought your self-confidence down. And that's maybe why you're stuck in a loop, you know? What messages do you have for group um, two, please? Spirit. Oops. It's quite a lot going on here. Yeah? Mm. So I've got to take these ones. So we got six and six and alone time. Yeah, a lot of reflection time is needed for this. Um, and we've got two, four, two, four. Number six, number six represents the heart and unconditional love. So sending love back to yourself. Sending love back to yourself yeah this could potentially be a love a quite a, a love message more than work to be honest um especially with the two the six the six and um two four so let's look at these cards so sing sing i would say what i love about singing is singing awakes your inner voice okay this is what it means to me you know stand in the mirror affirmate yourself sing to yourself sing in the shower um almost start channeling that confidence this is this is such a great exercise to do um to give back to yourself bold strength know that you are strength you power know that you deserve this energy this new beginning energy you deserve love you deserve abundance flow like water this could mean even maybe spending some time in water um, this could also mean water is also significant to your emotions so allow yourself to you know take a moment to cry if you need to um, but don't no judgment of course just complete love and joy and then we've got 
alone time, of course. And again, look, it's, you know, it's a beach and the sun. So finding place that brings you sunshine. Very much water energy. There could be a lot of um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Okay, let's look at, um, so each one of these have mantras. So I just want to look at the mantras quickly. How are we doing? We're still fine. Okay, sing. My voice uplifts uplifts all who hear it okay number six i am strong my body mind and spirit are resilient what makes you feel strong okay flow like water number 24 I give thanks for the abundant water of Mama Gaia. So maybe taking a moment to connect with Mama Gaia as well. And number two, alone time. I make time to focus on myself. Yes. So another thing is with this meditation I had prior when I was pulling your cards, the throat chakra started to do its thing so maybe you haven't been speaking up for yourself you know what i mean especially with the strength card or doing what makes you happy so take time to date yourself you know like yeah let's look at lastly i've got these beautiful cards from um etsy from trinket treasures so let's look at any last messages for group two, please, spirit. Any last messages for group two, please, spirit. Any last messages for group two, please, spirit. Any last messages, please. Ooh. Okay, we've got two. My mind is free. Um, so is Gemini, Aquarius. Libra. Okay, the moon. I follow my intuition to manifest my dreams. Yeah, if you don't know how to get your seven of pentacles energy, follow your gut. Okay, number twos, I hope you've really enjoyed that reading. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below what resonated for you. If it did so, please look at the link in the description below for any of the decks that you see today. And also check out my shop link below. I would like to take a moment to thank you and your guides for being here today. And also my guides for keeping us safe and bringing me this, us this wonderful messages. Until next week, bye-bye. Hi number threes, if you pick this salonite, this amazing salonite, I love salonite, um, then this is your group. Let's look at your card. So we have um, the tower as your first card coming up. So this is past, present and future. We have the magician in reverse, the six of pentacles in reverse and your overall energy was the emperor which is the aries okay so straight away with the tower usually is about i, I want to say like an awakening but it's very much of you need to let go of some things okay um Okay, so the tower is very much a spiritual awakening because you see how she's falling out this tower and you're almost having to hit rock bottom. So this is your past energy. So maybe you've gone under massive spiritual awakening or awakening lately or a big transition in your life where you've lost everything or gone financial burden or a divorce or health problems or whatever the case might be um 
you see this is all fire like it's destruction it's burning down this building um, where you have to start from scratch again so it's something to do with um, that the magician usually upright this has got to do with manifestation but here so usually that is it's got all the tools you need to manifest everything's in the flow but this in reverse is something's not flowing could represent manipulation poor planning untapped talents the magician so when i did your um in terms of just manifesting with the selenite i got intuition my hand started shaking, so that represents a little bit of anxiety there. Um, what was the other one? I can't quite remember. Intuition definitely came up. And the magician is, you might be, because even now I'm getting a bit, like I'm confused to kind of get my words out, is maybe you've kind of lost your way a little bit from this this just has made you question like a lot of things what do you want in your life how do you want to move forward what is your why what is your goals and you're just kind of taking a moment here to maybe you lack trust because you know obviously whatever happened here if it involved anybody you maybe you feel betrayed and you just or just keeping yourself back a little bit because you just want to make sure that you make the right moves forward um and you don't get yourself into that situation again um and then we've got the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, you see how the, we've got two people at the bottom. Okay, this is upright and we've got a balance scale. Okay, and Pentacles has always got to do with money, abundance, worth. Um, and you see how she's holding it for herself. So... In the upright position, you're receiving all the abundance, you know, it's ebb and flow. But over here, there isn't, you have to be a little bit more selfish. Or giving and receiving is a one-way street. Or you see the scales are upside down, meaning you're losing. I would say definitely... I feel like there's a little bit of clarification that's needed, but personally, I think that whatever moment you went through here, yeah, okay, and whatever context it can be, it could be in love or work or money, I should say, is that you need to be careful about who you trust and who is in your life because. You could be a giver, you could be an empath, you could be, you know, someone who is giving a lot and doesn't receive the same energy in return. So ideally, you want this to be you. You want the magician upright, you want the six of pentacles upright, so that you're, you have the power to manifest what you like. And the people in your life is giving and receiving the flow. But you see this. This is blocked energy here. Yeah. This is this is a lesson, especially with the tower. This is all your major kanas is um, a lesson that needs to be learned. So make sure that you trust your intuition and your gut when you meet new people or situations. And then also, don't be ignorant to the life lesson here. So this is also comes to a warning about debts, is that 
making sure that you've learned your lesson yeah otherwise you can get yourself in the same situation where you know spiritual awakenings they get bigger and bigger and more impact so and the thing is with the emperor the emperor is a very assertive energy knows what they want knows how to get it and the overall energy here is saying that you have this emperor energy and also i would say in terms of emperor empress empress i want to say empress got his you know he sh sh together this emperor is sorted you know what i mean and maybe you should reflect on yourself as to what habits what habits do you need to work on with yourself to get you in this emperor energy so that you can well using the emperor energy to help you get all the tools that you need you can manifest you've got all the skills you know what i mean because this magician also has it's got he's got all the tools he's got everything all the skills to be able to give and receive abundantly to whatever way they want so it's about being a little bit practical yeah i feel the empress very much power know your worth no sorry i sorry you're not giving to me so i would say this a little bit because i had um i had my third eye chakra was going crazy when i did your reading i'm sorry if it seems a little bit blocky blocky but there's a, there's a few little messages that can go either way in terms of the emperor knows how to say no to people who are not going to be giving that same energy back and i think this has got to do with you and your kind heart you've got a, a lovely heart and you give a lot to others but it's not reciprocated and sometimes you can get yourself into debt whether it's emotional debt or monetary debt but you have the power within yourself to stand up for yourself and tell the people that excuse me this doesn't work like this it's a two-way street i'm telling people like okay cool if they don't know your worth it's time to say ciao see you later you know but you've gone through the spiritual awakening or you're going through it now and this is the lesson you need to learn because you are the magician you are the emperor you deserve the six of pentacles it's up to you to choose if you want to step into the power and if you don't remember you come back to the the lesson you need to learn remember relationships are a two-way street and i don't see this as a romantic i see this as either like, this could be a friendship to be honest it could be friendship work or love because giving and receiving can come in any shapes of um, energy but know your worth is the overall energy here. And yeah. Yeah, I don't need further clarification. I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got these beautiful sacred care. And again, my third eye chakra is also your intuition, your clarity. It's getting clear. Getting clear on what you deserve. I think there's a lot of self-love that's needed yeah as well okay i'm so sorry group number three my phone ran out of space so i apologize but let's i um usually it's only four cards but seven cards came out and i feel like i know why because i feel like there is, in terms of friends and, um, you know, your intimacy partner, um, I feel like this reading has got to do with, 
there's been very one-sided with your friendships or with a romantic interest um and i would say it's spending time with the right friends making sure you're clarifying that you're given like it's a, it's a two-way street and in terms of your intimate partner is claim your power back and say you know maybe it's time to go excuse me like we, you know we need to we need to have a talk this is how i feel and if it's not the right connection you need to let it go you know what i mean if they don't respect your power and your self-worth then they're not the person for you and that will keep bringing you back to that tower effect same with your friendships so also this could be like in terms of self-worth maybe your um your root chakra and sacral chakra is blocked and you need to spend some time really um you know because look at this energy here we've got the root and then expanding into like euphoria and that's kind of where you want to be at that euphoric state of self-love and self-acceptance where your friendship group same thing you want to be resonating you know and very what's significant here we've got four and four which is eight 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 very scorpionic energy transformation um manipulation in terms of be mindful here but also in terms of numerology it's got to do with self-worth um inner strength self-confidence and i feel like the only way you can tap into that energy is by meditating finding your inner power by meditating going within maybe connecting to your spiritual friends or a spiritual group taking a tantra class would be quite cool um clearing your energy field 10 and 10 letting go maybe soaking in the water and doing like a cord cutting um releasing this energy you know um 10 and 10 is completing a cycle starting new um into that one energy burning some sage or anything to clear your energy but also making sure that this is very important joining maybe a group class or yourself the chanting is you know finding sacral sacral chakra and root chakra chants to get you higher vibration and singing you know sing as if you're still a child finding your inner goddess inner power and seriously by practicing all of this it really it really helps it really helps inspire that energy let's look at the mantras quickly um I surround my I am surrounded by loving reflections exactly I'm experiencing experiencing the cosmic orgasm thirty five meditate I am at peace forty six I let the healing waters restore me. My energy is clear, my mind is clear, my heart is full of love. Exactly. Group three. My voice is heard. Definitely. Your your voice is not being heard. And I really feel like you you know your power. It's all about your power here. And number 45. 
my voice uplifts all who hear it exactly let's get some last messages from this beautiful divine nature deck um, any last messages for group three please spirit oh straight away the sun and air i am strong i will shine bright and you've got the sun here as well my mind is free Get some clarity. Get some clarity of what's holding you back. Okay. Group threes, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I just want to take a moment to thank your guides, my guides, for keeping us me safe and delivering this message to you. I really hope that you have picked up some value from this. If you have, comment in the section below. And please check out my links down below um, for my shop, my Amazon wish list, and um that I've used in this um, reading today. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Namaste beautifuls.